Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. I haven't put up any content in a while, so here we are, recording what I do best, or at least what I think I do best, which is try on hauls. So I have a collective haul to show you guys today, as well as a few items I got as birthday gifts because it was my birthday on March 2nd. So I decided to just lump it all in one video and just bang it out. Before we get on into the video, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell and the thumbs up button. And without further ado, let's get on into the video. So I have a little bit of activewear, athleisure, surprise, surprise, no, that's literally all I buy. And then I have a couple supplements water bottle, tumbler type cups, and some shoes. So I cannot wait to get started. Let's start with Lululemon. So ever since I started working as an educator at Lululemon back in the beginning of December-ish, um, off and on obviously with COVID and the lockdowns and the openings and lockdowns and openings, um, I have been having quite some fun with the discount that I get <laughs> while being an employee for them. So I've been loving trying out some new things, going back to some old things that I love and just, you know, stocking up and purchasing more of. So the first thing I'm going to show you is something that launched a couple well probably when this is uploaded maybe like three weeks ago because they usually launch their new product on Tuesday afternoons um, which is what I've noticed like, living in the Eastern Standard Time Zone so the first item I want to share from Lulu is a sports bra and this one is called the all powered up bra and I don't actually currently have it here to show you in my hands because it is in the wash it is such an amazing high support sports bra it was built for A to E cups um, but I'm gonna heavily emphasize that it fits heavier chested girls really, really well. So I would have marketed this more as a D to E cup. Um, so I'm a double D, I'm a 32 double D and the sports bra sizing I find can be a little bit inconsistent going from style to style at Lululemon. So I'm usually an eight across the board, but then randomly I feel like I have to size up or size down depending on the style. So this one, I'm a 34E, which I know just sounds like whack, but my breasts actually fit really well in it. So you'll see on the try on clip here, it is so supportive. The bra almost is like a mold of like where your breasts will go into. There's no actual bra inserts, which I really enjoy. I really wanted to try the cloud bra when that came out, but it is marketed for more, I think it was B to C cup. So obviously my cup size is in the D's, it's not, I'm gonna be spilling. Um, but that softness, like that fabric that they came out with for that sports bra is so unbelievably soft. I was like, I need them to do this with a different kind of bra that's more supportive. And although the powered up bra isn't made out of Nulu, I don't believe it is at least, um, it's still pretty damn soft. And when I put it on, I just fell in love instantly. I was like, this is literally gonna be my everyday bra from now on, like screw bras. I don't even remember the last time I wore one since COVID started. And um, I just think this is a such a great high support sports bra. You can wear this for high impact activities as well as you could just wear it as an everyday like full coverage bra under like a shirt like this and go to the office. Um, so the thing I like about it is the back has adjustable straps. So it has that little plastic thing that you can pull up and down, which you'll see in the try on clip as well. It has the hook and clasp closure on the back and it has three different like levels of where you can hook it, if that makes sense. Um, so depending kind of how tight you want it around your, um, bust there uh it's great when i do the spill test obviously i don't spill it is pretty high coverage and support and when i do the jump and bounce test it it's pretty good as well so i would say i would label that as a good high support sports bra across the board so although i purchased this in black it also does come in the color iced iris and it comes in pink pastel i really want them to launch some more colors because personally i think pink pastel just isn't the right shade of pink or coral that I would be into. And I do really like the Iced Iris, but they currently don't have my size in that one. So hopefully we'll have some great feedback from guests on that bra and we will bring back more colors because I love that sports bra. It's probably the best high sports sports bra I've tried in so long and that's saying a lot. Now that sports bra is coming in at $88 CAD Canadian. So it is a little bit of a hefty price, but I'm telling you it is worth it. It will hold up the washes um, as long as you take care of it as well. The next sports bra I've had on my list for quite a while now and it is the free to be serene long line bra. And I got this in a size eight and I've been waiting for them to stock some more colors other than the black, white, and then some random color they usually have that I'm really not into. And when they came out with pink guava, 
I was like, I need something from Lululemon in that color. It is so freaking stunning. And I really like corally pink shades on me. I think it really brings out like my hair color. And then in the summer, obviously my tan. So I got it in the sports bra in pink guava. Um, however, I'm kind of disappointed with the fit. I can't believe this is my first time trying the free to be serene long line, but it is. Um, I love the strapping on the back. Not a huge fan that the inside is gray. I feel like they should just match the fabric on the outside color to the inside. I, I don't really understand how companies do that. I do like that it comes with bra inserts that you can feel free to remove. And it also has a seam down the center of the sports bra so the inserts don't make their way and make a uniboob because that ain't cute. I do like obviously the length because it does a long line, but as you'll see in the try on clip when I do the like bend over test or the spill test and the jump test, um, I already knew it wasn't going to be like the highest support sports bra. I'd be closer to like a medium support, which is fine because when I'm strength training, that's all I need. But I don't like that like the center kind of gapes on me when I bend over. So I'm almost thinking I should have sized down to a six, but the only unfortunate thing when you purchase on discount is you can't return the items. They are final sale. So that is unfortunate. I guess I'm gonna have to suck it up. But uh, yeah, if I could go back in time, I would have got this in a six because I just find that it's so stretchy. These straps are so like kind of thinner and stretchy that I think that's what's like causing the gaping at the front. Um, but other than that, I do think it's such a basic but cute sports bra. The color, like, come on, pink guava? Pink guava. If you do own this sports bra back when they had it in the color watermelon red, that looks like a very, very similar color to me online. I had never seen the watermelon red in person, but comparing these side by side online, they look pretty identical to me. And this sports bra comes in at $64. The next sports bra I'm also <laughs> kind of disappointed in, and I hate to say that because I'm such a Lulu fanatic, but you know, they can't make it a 10 out of 10 on every single product. It's it's pretty impossible to do. This is the Forward Fold Sports Bra in the color Rhino Gray. And I love the color, but it sold out in the first round of it being launched on the Tuesday. And then I waited for them to restock and I got it in size eight. So this one is interesting. It's a little bit of a longer line um, and it has a shelf bra built into it with removable cup inserts if you want to take that out. Now this one was marketed, I wanna say for, yeah, C and D cup. So I find that I can always kind of sliver into that category because I'm a double D sometimes I'm still good for a D kind of size bra as well um, but I don't like how this sits on my body now I can't say everyone with a D cup or C cup is not gonna like this because everyone's body's different but the way and where my fat kind of sits I spill up the sides which I really really don't like and I I just find that it digs in a little bit I don't know I'm just not really satisfied with this sports bra even the seams here I don't understand why they do that. Like they make it touch the nipple and then go down. I just, I don't see a huge point in that. Um, I do like the back crisscrossing. I think that's cute. It reminds me of the Alpha Leaf Volt sports bra, um, a lot thicker back straps. Spill test, it's good. Obviously it's super high coverage. Um, support wise, even though it's high coverage, I wouldn't say it is high support. I would say this is more labeled as a medium support. I guess that makes sense because the tag says this is catered for C to D cups. And this one comes in at $74. It also comes in the color Rustic Coral, Violet Verbena, and Black. The next item I picked up was in the We Made Too Much section, and I love shopping that section. First of all, even if I didn't have a discount, they have some decent deals on the products, as well as when I do have a discount, it is an even better deal for me. So they put up the Swiftly Breathe Long Sleeve in the color Savannah up on the We Made Too Much. So I obviously instinct needed to buy it. I'm typically an eight in my Swiftly T tees. I didn't realize that Breathe is like a little bit of a looser, more relaxed fit. So had I known that, I would have sized down to a six just because this is a little bit big. Um, it's nothing crazy. And what I am planning to use it for is using it as like a base layer under my ski jacket when I go skiing. So I really specifically bought this for skiing. So it's really not a big deal. No one's even gonna see the shirt half of the day cause I'll be clothed in my other winter gear, but I really, really like the color. I think it's so pretty. Um, I like obviously the breathability of the shirt. This one came in at, it's not showing me the sale price that this was up for, but I'm gonna guess it was 69 at least. All right, the next item, I didn't think I would cave to purchasing because I already 
have one in a different color, but it is the half zip scuba hoodie. I have it in heathered gray. Now I have it in black. <laughs> I really like this sweater. I think they did such an incredible job with this item and it is worth every penny discount or not. I got the size medium large. They are kind of like a combined sizing for this type of item. So there's extra small, small, medium, large, extra large large I think that's how it goes and I know they recently just came out with a full zip of the scuba hoodies but it's like the fit like this one if you're familiar with the original scuba hoodies they're fitted very like silhouette tight to your body they have the hoods they're very like posh cute whatever and these are more like looser relaxed boxier fits which not everyone's gonna like especially depending on your body type but i love how these fit on me very simple it's just a black half zip if you've seen my last haul then i'm not gonna go on for too long about it but i will say that has the kangaroo pocket in the front and then inside the kangaroo pocket there's also another mesh pocket which i love so you can shove a key in there or like a credit card or just something really small a chapstick if you don't want to get lost in the big pocket i love how how far the zipper comes down because when you're pulling it over your head when you're wearing makeup you won't get makeup all over it because the head hole is big enough to open you have the little thumb holes which to me this is not a make or break I don't really care about thumb holes but cute little addition they made to the sweater um, and it's a good weight I would say it's a good medium medium weight and then the inside is nice and fleecy um, I'm happy I'm really glad now I have a gray and a black in this sweater um, I hope they keep this is a permanent item and just keep launching new colors, which it seems like that is the direction they're going anyway. I think this sweater's like 118, but she's perfect, I love her. That is it for my Lulu items. Let's move on to some other items. So I'm gonna start with a sports bra that I got from a Buff Bunny launch a while back. Um, I actually didn't purchase it right from that launch that the item launched in. They restocked it, so I just waited for the restock. I can't find the name on the tag, it doesn't say, but I believe it's called the Revolution Sports Bra, and it is made of the Nubre fabric, which is something very similar to the Align uh, Nulu fabric. And I know Buff Bunny, Heidi Summers, has trademarked new bray for her own collection the sports bra looks like this the square neckline really intrigues me i really really like that and then it's a longer line sports bra which we love and then the back is super super strappy which i also like i didn't notice though that there's like a little silver circle keeping the um, straps together. I'm not a fan of that just because I feel like that's gonna tarnish over time and my body doesn't do good with tarnishing metals on it. But aside from that, it has um, cup pads inside. Are they not removable? Oh, okay, they are. I don't like where they put the slit to remove the cup pads. Like I don't understand why it's in the front of the strap. This is such a small, small hole to push a pad through and push a pad out. I really like when Lululemon puts them right here. Same with Alphalete. I don't, I don't know why they did that, but that's just a small, small thing. And then the logo is just on the back. And I believe this is in the color Pillow Talk. It's a really nice, soft baby pink. Um, doesn't look the greatest on me when I'm pale, but when I'm tanned, this will look fantastic. I will say that this sports bra, it looks good if you're bigger chested, but you have to like really play with your boobs to get it in and like them perked up enough that it looks cute in the sports bra. With that being said, I wouldn't wear this on a day where I'm deadlifting or bending over a lot because it is super cleavagey. I would have loved if she just moved this top of the sports bra line up at least a half an inch, even an inch, just to feel like you've got a little more coverage, but you still have that cute square neckline going on. Um, I just think it's a little bit low cut. I also noticed that girls who have their boobs done tend to look a little bit better in this, real boobs and fake boobs don't, um, how do I say this? I don't want to say perform the same way, but they don't bounce the same way. So I feel like fake boobs in this just would be fine at the gym, whereas like mine don't feel like really supported or anything. So I would almost consider this to be in between a light and medium support. I wouldn't do any type of cardio in this other than walking on the treadmill. And again, I wouldn't wear this for like bending down. So I did my little spill proof test and my little cardio jump around and uh, that's kind of where I would leave it at. So that sports bra was $58 Canadian. Okay, the next item is from TSL. I always mess up the words. I feel like it's TLS, then TCL. I'm just 
There's too many brands with similar lettering, but this one is TSL and I already took the tag off, but it was safety pinned to the leggings, which we obviously love because it comes off so nice and you can try them on without having a tag bothering you. So I just purchased from their most recent launch. So I purchased a pair of leggings from the Amour collection and these were in the color Adore, I believe. And I got these in a size medium. Oh, cute. A little sticker that says self love baby. And I know TSL does stand for something, but I forget what. Um, something self love but I, I forget, I'll put it on the screen. So I got these in a medium, like I said. So the inseam length on these are 25 inches. They are high-waisted. There's no middle front seam, which we love. And it is the Luna fabric, which is a brushed soft polyester and elastic blend. So the reason why I picked these ones up is I wanted to try something from TSL for so long now, but I just haven't fell in love with anything from the collection, like color-wise. I know I'm a real legging addict when I say something like that. But yeah, so I just, I was waiting for like the right color and collection to come out. So this one came out and this kind of seems similar to the color Gray Sage from Lululemon, which they haven't restocked that color in like a year now probably. Um, and it isn't quite the same, but it is in the same kind of color family. So I'm happy with that. Um, so these are how they look like. This is the back. It has a like raised logoing here, but it doesn't feel like a cheap raised logoing. This does feel like it won't fall off. It feels pretty secure and built in there, which I love. Um, I love the subtle dipped V, nothing crazy um, or extreme there. And then there's no front seam, which we love. And then a slight taper on the side of the waistband here. So the only thing with these is they feel like there's two fabrics. So like I can pull them apart here. Like this is one side and this is the other. So I feel like that's good for the tummy control, but now I'm trying to feel the rest of the legging if there's two fabrics attached. Okay, no, so that's just the tummy area, so I'm fine with that. Now, these do feel similar to the Lululemon Alliance. I won't say they feel like an exact duplicate, but they are in the same kind of family of blended fabrics. Um, they're pretty soft. Obviously, she said they're brushed. They are squat proof, and I wanna say they're cellulite proof too, because it is a little bit of a thicker material than the Align um, fabric, which is totally cool. Um, sweat proof and all that, I haven't broken them out yet to tell you, but I will let you know in the future. I'll do a little follow up. But yeah, these are those. And these were $64 American. They had another couple colors in the collection too. They had like a crimson and they had like a navyish teal hybrid color. That was cute as well. And then they also launched some track suits. So I got these in a medium. They claim that that is a size 6'8 US, which I'm a six in leggings, so. That's that. The only downside to those leggings is the duties I had to pay. We don't love as Canadians, so I probably won't be purchasing for a while again until that's sorted because I hate paying duties. So we're getting into some birthday gifts now and my boyfriend picked up a couple things for me that I asked for recently. One being the Nike yoga legging. I got this in the color like dark sienna or something like that. I'll have to look it up because when we purchased it from Sport Check, the only downside is um, they literally put like 20 names. It'll be like dark orange, dark terracotta, dark sienna, sienna, like all these colors. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. And the reason why I wanted to try these out is you got it. It's supposed to be similar to a Lululemon Align. And I love to try competitors to the Lululemon Align because I want to see how well they'll hold up, if they're worth the price, are they in the same price bracket, quality, all that stuff. So on the actual tag, it says Nike Yoga Luxe featuring Nike Infinilon material, high rise, seven eight length. We love a seven eighth legging. These retail for $110. I didn't purchase that amount, thankfully. I got them in a size medium and they are about a 25 and a half inch inseam. I just measured them before the video. I know it's a seven eight length on the tag, but I wanted to fact check that. I love that the bottom is a laser cut detail. I find that not a ton of leggings are. I just think it's such a nice clean, straight cut, I love it. The one thing I don't like about these is they came with like the seam already kind of falling apart, which is obviously not fantastic. I ordered a small and a medium and then I returned the one that I didn't love the fit on and it was a small, it was just compressing my bum a little bit too much um, and it wasn't super flattering, but the seam was also coming apart on that one. So I think it's just a legging wide problem for them. It's not 
a certain one that was defected. So we'll see how well this holds up or pills apart. Um, the other thing I was not a fan of is I don't like that they changed the logo to be like vertical like that. I just think it looks so wrong. It looks like to me, like somebody screwed up in the factory and just was like, oh, well, let's just put it into production anyway. Like it just feels like not right of Nike to do that. Like just keep it the same swoosh, the same like eye line, like normal horizontal, like why would you turn it? The waistband to these Nike ones feels similar to these TSL ones. Like I said, how it feels like there's kind of two fabrics, like I'm pulling each side of it right now and then you put it together and it's like a double lined, which is fine. I think that's good for the tummy compression. And then the rest of the legging is just one layer, which is nice. They're not the most flattering on the booty. Like I wouldn't say they're the highest on the booty skill out of all the leggings I own, but they're not bad. And I really like how soft they feel. It doesn't say the blend of fabrics on their description on the website, because I'm sure they don't want other competitors to take their blend away and go mock and make their own legging. But it feels very similar to these ones from TSL and some other ones I own in my collection as well that are like in the Align family. So if you like that buttery soft feeling, these are the ones for you. And these are squat proof. And I know Nike does launch multiple different colors all year round of these leggings. So usually when one color sells out, I haven't seen them bring that back. They'll just bring a new one out. So when I first discovered these leggings, I think I saw them in a light purple, a baby blue, a baby pink, and a black. And then I haven't seen any of those other than black. And then they just launched this color. So this is the color I decided to pick up because I don't have it in my collection. The next item I picked up is this cropped little jersey and it's in a size medium and it was $55 from Nike and it's this nice pale peachy color and it has the little Nike embroidered logo here on the left side of the chest. It's a little bit of a thicker material so I would say this is maybe like to wear in the fall or the spring. I think it'd be a little bit too hot to wear in the summertime. Um, I guess you could also wear it in the winter time. Um, but I love this piece, it's a little bit of a mock neck and I like that the shoulders or the sleeves have a little bit of a drop sleeve, not incredibly low but like a nice nice sleeve. I don't know. It fits really well on me and I'm 5'8 ish. So I really like how it's not extremely cropped. And I think that this color family together, like these earth tones look so good. And I'm really have been into that lately. Like just these colors. I'm just so into. I love this whole color family. So I wouldn't wear that one to the gym. That's more like athleisure clothing that I would just wear out and about get coffee, go downtown, that type of thing. So thanks babe for those for my birthday. Okay, next what I got is like kind of boring, but I mean, I love socks. <laughs> um, we also picked up some socks when we were shopping around Sport Check. So I have like a super tall sock and then I have a really short sock and I wanted like a medium length. So I got a medium Nike length. And then I just got some performance lightweight, no show, socks as well because you can never have enough of these for the gym. Okay, next I picked up a water bottle because I had broke mine earlier this year and it was the clear bottom with the pink top. I dropped it on the driveway carrying too many things to the car. Surprise, surprise. So I purchased a new one. This one was from Winners and it was 10 bucks um, and it was actually more expensive on Amazon. So I'm glad I found one. Then I had a friend give me a little birthday gift and in the birthday gift, she gave me a little Sea Traveler mug um, and it's from Kate Spade, which is so cute cute so I love the light purple lilac super pretty um, obviously love Kate Spade so this will be good for going for walks with my coffee or my tea and my, my friends because that's all we can do nowadays we can't really sit in restaurants and drink coffee and tea anymore so Thanks, Amanda. Let's move on to shoes. So I purchased the Nike React Phantom Run Flyknits, and I had tried these in so many sizes, and I'm literally a full size up in Nike in this shoe because of the make of like how narrow it is. My foot's a little bit wider. So here's the box. Um, I got these in a nine and a half, which normally I'm an eight and a half, and then sometimes size down to an eight or size up to a nine, depending on how the shoe construction is. Um, these I had to size up to a nine and a half to fit comfortably, but they are so damn cute. I know the Alphalete girls wear these for their photo shoots um, and I had to pick some up too because I love white. I love the little gray. Not mad about it. These are really cute and they're comfy. Okay, so the next item I purchased was from Vici or Vici Dolls. I can never remember because I feel like on the website it's Vici Dolls and on Instagram it's Vici. If not, it's vice versa. Like I always get it confused, but I know Vici is in the name. Um, I've been eyeing these boots for some time and I had a credit 
for Vici on their website. So I decided, okay, I will, I'll bite the bullet. I'll use my credit and then spend a little of my own money and get them. They are so cute. I feel like they are like the modern take on a combat boot because those aren't like super in style anymore. Um, I love them. They're like a taupe colored suede with the silver um, hardware and then the laces are like checkered print white and taupe which is also so cute and then there's like a little um, tab in the back I love that the bottom is cream I think that's so cute and I've really been into creams and like those neutral colors recently and I know exactly how I'm gonna style this and it's gonna be exactly how the model styled this on the Vici website um, with her hat and jacket which I have the jacket and a similar hat so I'm really excited to break out this whole outfit I already wore it out to dinner once and I'm like that wasn't long enough. Like I need a day in this outfit. Do you ever have those moments where you're like, I need people to see my cute outfit. I also did go true to size on these boots. I got an eight and a half and they fit perfect. The next item is actually what I'm wearing now and it's this leopard print turtleneck sweater. And I got this from Dottie Couture and I, Saw Dottie Couture on Instagram a while back. Desby talked about it a little bit on Instagram and I couldn't really like see anything I liked on that website. And then over time they like started uploading a little bit more of kind of like my style and what I would purchase. So I found this sweater and it was on sale. So I purchased it. The only thing is the tooties. The tooties got me mad. It's not like itchy, which I'm so thankful for. And then I love the sleeves are a little bit like a balloon sleeve and how this like cuffs at the bottom. Um, and I like the length. So the sizing in this was like a small medium and then medium large and the medium large has been sold out forever. So I was like, well, it's on sale. It probably won't be restocked. So I got the small medium and it honestly doesn't fit bad. I'm thankful it fit because it ain't cheap. The last fashion item I want to share with you guys are actually earrings and I actually got these gifted to me for my birthday from my boyfriend. So thank you very, very much. I love them so, so much. And they are the Chanel CC earrings with like the gold backs and then like the silver kind of brass rhinestones in them. There's like three different variations of the earrings. So I was like super specific on the ones I wanted. And this was a story to hunt these down. I feel bad for this man, but he, you know, drove wherever he needed to drive to get these for me. And I will try to do a close up here. Hopefully it's zooming in okay. I just love the way they sparkle. They're so cute. So I am like, a pearl earring wearer to the core. Like I love my pearls so much. I've worn them since maybe like grade 11 or 12. They've been my staple. Um, and then when I got my second piercing three or four years back, I like doubled it up. I was wearing two pearls all the time and I still love my pearls. So this is a little bit of a change for me, but I really like the change. I think they're really pretty and I'm excited for them to be kind of like my new everyday earring when I'm out and about. The last couple items are actually supplements. Now I don't purchase a ton of supplements because I just don't. <laughs> All I have is protein and then pre-workout every now and again, but nothing else really. Um, but recently I noticed on TikTok and this one girl I follow, Alexa um, Strand, Stan, I, f I forget, but she's an influencer and she's like partnered with navigation. Anyway, she has talked about taking collagen for so, so long. Anyway, she has talked about taking collagen and it helping with like her nail growth, her eyelash growth, her hair growth. And all those things were very appealing to me, but the one that was the most appealing was the hair growth. When I pull up my hair into a tight pony, I have not a bald spot, but like a lot of hair thinning happening on my right side. My left side's pretty good still, but my right side's pretty noticeable. Now, most people I don't think would be able to like point that out so easily. They'd have to study my head and my hair. But to me, it's like a self-conscious thing. Like I really, really hate it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this a shot because she had before and after pictures. And if I can find it on her Instagram highlights, I will insert it um, of her hair growth from taking collagen. And I was like, I need this in my life. So I saw that. I also saw a TikTok of a girl talk about her hair growth with collagen as well. So I decided I'm gonna finally pick some up. And I did go with the Alani new one. It's unflavored. The only thing is it came with a giant scooper. I don't feel like I need a giant scoop of this cause there's also protein in the scoop, like in the macros. So I switched it to a little one because I just don't really wanna have a giant scoop 
of something that has so much protein and it's unflavored in my food every day. Just like not enjoyable for me to look forward to. So a little scoop of this, I can just throw in my oatmeal, throw in my cereal and like the milk and I don't even notice it. And I honestly can tell you, I've been noticing a difference. Like it's not a huge, huge difference, but it's enough for me to be like, I'm gonna keep taking this. Um, I also have noticed my nail growth is like out of this world. I don't know if this is ever gonna focus. There we go. This is my right hand. Like these are usually cut pretty short and it's because when they grow long they break really fast so i just cut them all down because it annoys the crap out of me these ones are a little bit shorter but um still not that bad i can't speak on my eyelashes yet because that's not something i have really noticed too too much i don't wear mascara every day so i feel like you can really tell when you're putting something on them and lengthening them out but i definitely don't want to say they like they don't look any brittler than they did before so there's that i'm also wearing fake eyelashes though so and the last item I got was some digestive pills and I don't take these every day and I know you're supposed to take them for every meal. I personally just like to have something like this that can help break down my food when I'm gonna have like a lot of dairy or I'm gonna have like a very, very big meal. I think it helps, I've taken it a few times now so I can just say I think it helps break down the food a little bit easier, which is nice, um, but I don't take it multiple times a day, every single day. It's just, it's too expensive to repurchase to do that. I forgot to show a couple items in the sit down portion of this haul that were either folded up and put away in a drawer or in the laundry. So I decided to quickly record a try on portion and just voice over it. I purchased these lattice work embossed black printed leggings from Lulu. They are aligns and they were actually on markdown in the Christmas season. I'm so glad I picked them up. I think these are the most unique pair of leggings I now have in my collection. And I love when the print catches the light. You can't really see the print and texture super far away, only up close. And I think that's super cool. So they're also squat proof, which is good. The last item that I tried on for you guys is this cropped cream colored sweater from Urban Outfitters. I saw a ton of influencers that own this sweatshirt and I was absolutely obsessed with the look of it. It kept selling out, so I had to patiently wait for a restock. So I'm glad I picked it up. I sized up in a large for this one for a little bit more of an oversized fit. Well, that was absolutely everything for this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. I know it was quite lengthy, but I've had some time to collect some items and now I'm just loving to talk about them to you guys. So comment down below if you've picked up any new activewear athleisure pieces and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.